Hey, okay. Hello, everybody. 404 guy here, 7 he 404 gui back with some Kerbal Space Program. Before we get into the episode... Warning. This program contains coarse humor and a sense of language that some people might not share. Viewer discretion is advised. But I bet that just makes you want to watch it even more. Yes, indeedly diddly. So, the focus of today's episode is, uh... Hello. It's gonna be 59 years away. Uh... I don't know. Some of these are pretty good. Like, this, this pays a lot. Well, this pays something. This pays something. These aren't paying a lot, actually. Interesting. Uh, ma, 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 ma. Yeah, these don't seem to be uh, paying too much. Uh, we have an active mission, actually, though, of exploring EVE. We need to go on an orbital spacewalk and return to Kerbin from a flyby of EVE. So I figure, why don't we do a multiplanetary vessel? And since I figure, I do. So let's make a, an interplanetary vessel. Sorry about that. We're going to go to EVE a little bit later, though. Not, not instantly. Like, this is too big. We want something small. We want something compact. Uh, what can we use here? I want to send people. Ah, here we go. This is what I was looking for. Awesome. Okay. Because we're going to use this partly as a re-entry vehicle, partly as a space plane. So we're going to want to uh, design this accordingly. This is liquid fuel. We, we need rocket fuel. There we go. We're going to do a couple of rocket fuel. One long, one short. And then we'll, we'll design the back of it in a second here. Uh, this would be better design, actually. Yeah, yeah. Let's go to the space plane hangar. Methinks this would be better designed as a space plane. Alrighty tidy. There we go. Cause this way we can get uh, we can get symmetry, and that's ultimately what we want here. Is symmetry. Not monopropellant, what am I thinking? Oh, hello. There we go. All right, so a few things that we're going to have to take care of. Uh, number one, what's our engine going to be? We want something efficient, so I'm going to be looking at that uh, engine specific impulse. And these are all pretty low. This is like the highest specific impulse, but we can't really use that in atmosphere because in atmosphere it's only 185. This, you know what? That actually might be a good idea to... to uh, Hold on. Get ourselves a couple of air-breathing engines for when we're in atmosphere. How's this? This one's 9,000. This one's 4,000. Oh, but we've also got... Where is it? This guy. This guy's only 3,200. Yipes. Okay, we'll do this guy. This guy's... Uh... It won't be used much, but when it is used, it's going to save us a lot. Um, all right, now in terms of wings, all right, that CG is a bit back, but that's not a big deal. I'm gonna keep this way back here. These are going to have liquid fuel in them because we're going to be attaching additional engines, so that's going to be useful to us. These. These are pretty huge. I may veto the decision to use these at all. I don't know. They seem kind of weird. Tailfin, that's not what I wanted. I want a canard. There we go. Advanced canard. So that'll just give us a little bit of additional control. I mean, if anything, these things are tiny. Look at these. 0.4. Tiny. All right, what else we got here? We need some control surfaces. Okay, maybe I need to snap them. Okay, I do need to snap them on. 
Need something bigger than that, though. Well, wow, these things are short. Um, hum, hum, hum. Larger. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Awesome. Okay. That'll give us a little bit of a control authority. That canard is not going to do jack diddly. Doodly doodly. Uh, landing gear. Might be good to have. And when I go to land on another planet, there's no guarantee that the surface is going to be, you know, okay for landing gear, such as this. So I may want to uh, to attach something additional here. Hold on, let me just oh, get centered there. All right, that ought to work. Maybe move that back a little. All right. Now this is obviously not going to get interplanetary flight from this guy. This is uh, this is way out there. So let's start souping it up. Oop. Hello. These have got to be like right center line too, don't they? Well, I guess not. As long as you have the control authority. go and then an engine por favor there we go right that will kind of do something it won't do much but it'll do something and then we'll just uh, we'll attach a little fuel line going down from here so that these guys can stay full of fuel awesome this is still not an interplanetary craft. It is probably quite a bit further away than I would like. So let's get uh, payload. Where's payload? There it is. Oop. Hello. There we go. What sorts of payload do we need? We need batteries. Actually, doesn't this thing have its own special? No, it doesn't. Okay. That battery is way too big. Okay. There we go. Give me a couple re rechargeable batteries. Make it so that we'll never run out. And then we'll install a science package while we're at it. Because we're going to want to collect on science. Uh, hello. Stop snapping, will ya? Oh, there we go. Perfect. Hey, that fits. That fits just nicely. Double it up. This thing is probably not going to get out of the Kerbin Sphere. Like, realistically, this design is a little bit heavy. Not exactly well planned. But this is going to be an iterative process. In fact, we might not even get out of the Kerbin Sphere in the first, uh, in the first stage of this. So... There's that. As for Command and Conquer, it'd be nice if we could install a lot of stabilizers on this. Like, I'm going to put a couple here. Just because. And then... I might install a couple between these uh, rear engines here. Again, just because. No severe issues there. Additionally, once we do enter an atmosphere, we're going to want some air brakes. Probably. Let's install one or two of those. And some radial air intakes. Perfect. All right. This is looking like a space plane. Alrighty. I mean, this pre-cooler doesn't actually... It'd be nice if it increased efficiency, but it doesn't. So I don't need it. As for these... Again, this is going to be an interplanetary craft. 
So we're going to want to be able to refuel somehow. Oh, jeez. This is getting heavy. This is getting real heavy. Okay. We're going to need a resource converter as well. Ouch. That's going to hurt. Looks like we're extending that payload bay. To include a resource converter. How are we going to do that? Um, hmm. uh, okay. Those are too big. We want small. Think smaller. So that'll work, and then we just need the resource converter. That's a utility. Here it is. Damn. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, in addition to that, I think it might be useful for me to uh, just install a couple of radiators directly to it. Just, yeah, a couple radiators here and there. Directly to the resource converter. And then we'll also install a couple on the uh, outside here. Which also in... Well, hello. Oh, the rear one, please. Don't intersect. No, no. Thank you. Uh, we're also going to need some electrical generating stuff. Those will work. And then we'll just, uh, I don't know, spam the top of this thing with uh, solar panels. In real life, this would not work solar panels on top of a wing because this is going to interrupt the airflow. But in this game, it'll work just fine. Our center of lift is way further back than I'd like to see it. These little canards are not going to do enough for controllability. I mean, I'm tempted to do this just to, uh, just to make a controllable aircraft that anhedral is going to be a little bit problematic, I think. There. Keep them parallel. Alright. I mean, this looks awful. And I highly doubt that this is going to work out in my favor. Are we missing anything? Anything specific? Yes, communications. How are we going to communicate with the uh, rest of the world? We'll uh, install a couple of these guys. Oh, jeez. This thing looks... Looks janky. AF. I do not know. I do not know. Well, we'll give it a test flight. Uh, which ones are which? Okay, these guys are going to have to be their own. So why do I have rocket fuel? If I'm not using it. I have liquid fuel and oxidizer, but I'm not using it. Hold on. Ouch. That lagged. We might as well just make it full liquid fuel at this point. No intersections. Thank you. Another bit of liquid fuel, and then... Oh, hello, this guy. Way back here. Okay, so now it's all liquid fuel all the time. That's 49,000 and something for these guys. Or 1,000 for the... Oh, wow, that's not going to be great. Uh, one other thing I could do is maybe, like... I don't make this... A little easier to land. We'll just do a quick test flight, see how she goes. So the goal here is an interplanetary spacecraft.
I don't know if we're going to get that with this first design. Probably not. I think we've already lost an engine. Yeah, it's, uh... One of our engines is starved for air. The other one's working just fine. So we're currently on one engine. See how well that goes. As we tumble down the runway at 25 meters per second. Avast ye. Hey, there she goes. Love ya. All right, let's go. Let's pull that nose up. The underwing engines are probably not a good idea because they're very likely to strike the ground. That's a modification I should be looking to make. Uh, hello. Yeah, you see that? Uh, 60.2. These aren't going to do too well, are they? Let's, uh... Kick the extra thrust out of these guys. I mean, right now we don't need those other two engines, but we'll need them later on. So we're gonna... Restart when we get a chance. For now... This is good enough. All right. So we're going to see how high this will take us. That'll give us some useful metrics for the next flight. How's your airflow? Fuel flow is pretty low. Airflow is okay, but not great. All right, this only gets us to 2,000. If this can't break, like, the 10,000 mark, I'm going to be... Very disappointed. And it's looking like I'm going to be very disappointed. Yeah, thrust is dropping. Specific impulse is mostly staying stable. Now it's about to, uh, we're about to get flame out on these. Wait for it. All right, she's about to flame out here in about a second. Or a couple seconds. Here goes, here goes. Three, two, one. And flame out. There she goes. Interestingly, this other engine is doing just fine. Oh, not quite. And it's about to flame out as well. Well, maybe not so. So this uh, was unable to break 5,000 meters. That's very disappointing. On the plus side, it's uh, very controllable. Let's see how it does with uh, high speeds. Maybe I should have brought the gear in when I started. That would have been smart. Alright, we're going for high speeds here, see how she handles. If it doesn't handle well, it's going to plummet into the water. Alright, 12,000, or uh, 1,000 anyway. Wow, that handles incredibly well actually. So it's those uh, engines on the underside that are the big issue right now. As well as the fact that this is uh, fundamentally incapable of getting out of the atmosphere. Hey, we can put these on the out. 
Hey, that looked pretty cool, wouldn't it? I mean, not pointing inwards. Obviously, that's a waste, but... Uh, whoops. Hello. Not what I wanted. All right. We're going to want to... Uh, yeah, put some struts on those. Keep them from flipping around too much. That'll keep them off the ground, at least. That makes this a much more survivable design, I'd say. The unfortunate thing is that uh, it just can't keep up. These engines are... are done. Okay, obviously we don't want that. Yeah, like, there's, uh, not much we can do to keep these engines fed. Is there a more powerful engine? These ones do 130, Mach 3. These ones do 107, Mach 1.8. Obviously, they wouldn't operate under a vacuum. So intake air is 7.7. .7. This one intake air 5.3. Heavier thrust. Okay. We'll swap these ones out. And then from that we just basically got to hope that uh, that this design can break atmosphere. Like I said, I don't really intend on breaking atmosphere on this uh, first episode. Or this first... ...attempt. Hello, that's not what I wanted to do. I have to flip it back. Um, staging. Yep. Staging is a thing. Let's switch these out. Not these guys, these guys. There we go. Well, that was lovely. Oh, they don't have air. It's good to know that they can... Uh, that, that was almost like a pulse jet there. All right. Radial intake air. We'll give them two. Why not? Hey, why is there only one? Radial intake on the top and on the bottom. All right. Let's try that again. Hopefully with a higher rate of success this time. All right. Not again. Always check your staging. Even when you don't have to, just do. Because you never know. There. All right, that's got some push to it. All right, we'll try and rotate by 70. Hello, all right, not anywhere near controllable. Uh, not good. Though I think that was more an issue with, uh, with airflow as opposed to anything else. So not having enough airflow over the wings makes it difficult to control. That's... Oh, damn it, why do I keep doing that? I gotta permanently fix my staging because this 
is annoying. It's like you just loaded it two seconds ago. Why does it take longer to load the second time? That's what I'd like to know. All right, let's try that again. This time maintaining a large amount of airflow over the wings. We're gonna say, I don't know, 100 meters per second is gonna be our takeoff speed here. Minimum 100. Because this does not, uh, does not like low speeds. All right, here we go. Hello, it is not controllable at all. Yeah, not at all controllable. Let's take that back then. So it's pivoting too freely and as it develops lift, it's just uh, pitching up. Okay, that's why. And again, once we start to run out of mass, that CG's going to move back. Sorry, that CG's going to move up. Wow, the CG is directly tied to these wings. Look at that. Uh, why are these upside down? Why are my wings upside down? Hey, that's annoying. Come on. Okay. So that aerodynamic center is a bit... Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. Uh, can I reset the rotation on these things? Let's just get rid of them. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, that's a bit of a tough one there. Hold on. Come on. We don't want these to wander too far apart. It'll get more stable as it runs out of fuel. But we've also got to consider the uh, auxiliary engines. These are kind of annoying engines, too. Ah. What are we going to do here? Try it like this. And split them up as required. A couple of radial intakes. Oh, that's awful. That's a terrible position for that. Um, I mean, that'll work. It looks pretty awful. No, oh, that CG is too far back. Look at that. Oh, God, that... CG management is just awful here. There. Hey, that's what we're looking for. All right. Now, will these engines completely destroy everything behind them? Probably. That's about the best we can do. I thought I had uh, more solar power on here. Hold on. Because we are going to need quite a bit of electricity. Let's just double those up. All right. I might just be trying to go too big with this thing, eh? I mean, before the end of the episode, I would like to see this escape the atmosphere, at least. Alright. 
Bridge. Come on, you can do it. All right, so it lifts off the ground, that's good. Can it get to a decent altitude? Uh, not based on what I'm seeing so far. These numbers are not looking good. We're at a thousand and it's already starting to drop. We'll see how she goes. But it does not look like she goes well. All right, let's kick in the next set. This is looking awful. Just awful, look at that. Performance is abysmal. Look at these things. Specific impulse, 370. Eh. Not good. Not good. The question remains, will it break atmosphere? The answer remains no. So if this was to make it to the surface of Eve, it would never be able to break the atmosphere again. That's the uh, that's what we're seeing here, and uh, yeah, that's our peak surface velocity. So basically, from here, surface velocity is going to start to decrease. There it goes, and uh, our altitude is going to cease to increase. This is going up slowly. This is going down steadily. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to be good, and uh, not to mention. It is heavily yawing to one side. It's about to lose stability, actually, because it's moving too slowly. So, this appears to be a peak. And here it goes. We're going to start seeing it yaw. Be sliding around any second. Made it to almost 6,000 meters. Oh, uh, yeah, there. You can see it. Uh, see it slipping around there. I mean, 6,000 meters ain't terrible. But it just ain't good. Hey, we're picking up again. What's going on? You, you. Engines. Ah, whatever. Oh, that's why we're picking up again. Come on, keep that nose up for me. Let's go. I mean, why we're flying at 450 is beyond me. We should be maintaining that zero nine or zero and our surface velocity has dropped once more we're at 8,000 meters hello hold on whoa too far too far we're stalling stalling keep that down there Oh, come on, we're at 9,000. Not enough to maintain lift, though. We don't have enough thrust to overcome, uh, to overcome gravity here. 
Oh boy, there she goes. All right. All right, so we got to about 9,400. A little, a little over 10%. That's not terrible, but it's not not really good at all either. Why does this have oxidizer? Burnt up a bunch of liquid fuel. Yeah, I'd say that's uh, that's a bit disappointing performance that we got out of this. Let's see how she does. Three thousand. All right, we're gonna go at 1,500. Three, two, one, go. Got the speed brakes up. Let's see if we can actually do a water landing. This design is going to be scrapped. By reason of not being good enough. Okay. You know what? Surprisingly, that mostly survived. Um... Go back to the space plane hangar. So here's what I'm seeing. Uh, everything goes. Maybe not that far. How many crew? This has crew capacity of one. Do one of these. We'll attach that to something which is, like, insane. Hold on, how do these go? That looks ugly. Um, yeah, this is what we want. One of those, followed by... This is the symmetric one. Followed by this. Right. That's looking normal. And followed all that up by a Rhino engine, wherever it may be in here. That'll get us the thrust we want. As for the uh, length of burn, we're we'll looking at some combination of these. Right. Oops. These nuclear engines. All right. Then we'll want something to land on, basically. Um, as far as aerodynamics goes, I'm inclined to uh, do a couple of these. This looks like a fat dog. This looks like one of those dogs that's morbidly obese. terrible. That looks absolutely terrible. Something like that'll work, followed by these along the sides. Why aren't these mirroring here? Something like that. I don't believe it. These are actually too big. 
Well, it doesn't matter anyway. This is going to be a vertical takeoff device. I'm feeling. Let's leave that where it is. This is going to be taking off uh, vertically anyway. In order to get the kind of symmetry we want. Where is she? Is this the one I was just working on? I think so. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Let's, uh... What is this symmetry? This is weird. Ah, jeez. Can I root this? Okay, well, hey, fair enough. Ah, oh, this is still using the symmetry from the other building. That's disgusting. I hate it. Oops. There we go. Another couple of those over here. Ah, uh, why... Why are you doing this game? I specifically brought it in here so that I could use the advantages of this hangar. I guess the game just does not care. I mean, very specifically, I wanted the symmetry from this hangar. The fact that I don't get that is just insulting. Look at this. I can't even move left and right. Talk about annoyance. Ah, uh, damn. I need batteries. Plenty of batteries. Uh, give me one of these. Plenty of electricity. Oh my god, this symmetry is going to kill me, I swear. Oh, that's awful. Extremely awful. Why? Why won't it let me treat this as a damn... Ah... Uh. This is just... awful. this. Look at how it's mirror. That's, that is not intuitive. I don't want you to do this. Oh, crap. We lost those. We just lost two antennas in here. Where'd they go? There they are. Anything else I'm forgetting? Yes, plenty of stuff. Resource converter. I can just imagine trying to land this on the surface of some planet. Jeez. This looks awful. It's going to be a bit of a, uh, a break in the streaming. going to disappear for a couple of uh, weeks, mostly relating to uh, final exams and whatnot. Oh, game, could you please not do this to me? Just give me the symmetry that I asked for when I switched to this editor. Please. Ah, just awful.
That barely goes down enough, but okay. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. So this is going to be awful and it's not going to work the way I want it to. That's never been a big deal, has it? I have no doubts that this will get to the moon. Whether or not it proves versatile enough to get anywhere beyond that is yet to be determined. Wow, look at it bounce. Oh, for a second there, I thought that was going to get up off the ground. Oh, well. I mean, this is pathetic. Why won't it let me do the symmetries associated with the vehicle assembly building, The this one? It won't let me do the symmetry. It's just asinine. Let's give it something to... Oh, God, it just... It doesn't let you. I'm sure somebody will eventually understand my frustration, but look at what it did here. Like, come on. Give me a break. I'm going to go ahead and wager that this isn't going to have the amount of thrust necessary to overcome gravity at sea level. But we're going to pretend that it does, at least for the start. Where are we here? Okay, we are way further from the moon that we need to be, so let's speed that up a wee bit. Where are we now? Right there. Give it a little more. Right there. I mean, that's kind of close. It's not very close. Yeah, see what I mean? It doesn't have the, uh, the necessary thrust to get off the ground. So that sucks. Yeah, it's just, just sitting there. How heavy is this thing? 161 tons. How much thrust is this? Well, thank you, game, for telling me how much thrust it is. I have to go in here and look every time. Uh, 12,000 kilonewtons. So it's just barely not enough. So I could top it up with a couple of these. Watch, watch what happens. Keep an eye on this. I want four. Oh wow, it just took it down to two. I wonder why that is. And it puts them in the worst possible location. I am not in a good mood. There. That should give us the necessary thrust. All right. Will it work? A 
apparently, though very slowly. Look at our climb rate, one point, oh, almost four meters per second now. Come on, get that nose up, will ya? Ah, damn. Well. I mean, that's pretty much it, isn't it? I'm not using that design anymore because it's absolute crap in this uh, assembly building. Whoever decided you can't switch between the two, ugh. Terrible idea. So, anything else that we can do? I don't know. I can just do a crap ton of these, followed by, I don't know, what do we have? Sudden expansion and then the Rhino engine. Fuel is a consideration we have to take into account here. That'll provide enough thrust. See what we can do with the nuclear engines. Come on. There we go. Four nuclear engines, one big giant engine. 1700 meters per second, delta V. And this isn't even everything we need on board because we also need a resource converter. We also need a crap ton of batteries. We need something that generates electricity. Probably excessive on the batteries, but that's better to have too many. Let's do some thermal management. Down here, some way to land it once we get to our destination planet. Landing gears. Because this is basically what we need here. Whoops. Where'd it go? Uh, fuel tank. Take the small ones because we're not expecting to keep much ore on board. And utility, we need the drills. allow us to drill. We got plenty of electricity. We got plenty of cooling. 1,455 meters per second is our delta V projected. Yes, over... well, no. Call it multiplanetary because that's what it's intended to be. Resource converter, electricity, other stuff. No communications good to have. It also might be good to have some science-y stuff on here. Let's do a few of those. Uh, goo and pressure, and it might be good. Yeah, surface scanning module. Just so that we know if we're landing in an area that has ore or not. else. Doesn't look like it. Give this a test. See, the whole idea of the space plane is something that I don't think works very well in Kerbal Space Program in general, because the engines crap out way too low.
Why are there three of these guys? We need to wait half a day anyway, isn't it? Are you kidding me here? Come on. Bouncing around on the freaking launch pad. Oh my god. Dude. Not cool. Friggin' completely unnecessary. These used to have a way to adjust. I guess you don't have that anymore. They got rid of it because too many people wanted to do that. Let's, uh... Feeling kind of sick. All right. This will be our last try. I am not feeling well right now. This is going to be the last stream for quite a while. And frankly, this whole concept of space plane, multi-planetary. I mean, why not just build one to go to each planet and be done with it? I guess it's a challenge. All right, it's not freaking bouncing around anymore. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna go to midday, I think it was. Right around there. No, a little further. Uh, it's not even close, but that'll be good enough, you know what? Oh, well. Still too heavy. I give up. Ah, you know what? This is just... This is just awful. Trying to design something that's going to be reusable. Coming from a mindset of having designed a bunch of stuff that was not reusable. And especially the mass involved is just, it's crazy. Because this, this design attempt is to be zero stage. Like, you don't shed anything, you carry the whole weight with you the whole way. So trying to take off from the surface of Kerbin while carrying all that extra weight. That is a considerable... Considerable design challenge. And certainly one that I'm not up to, uh, to try and accomplish today. Like I said, not in the best of moods, not feeling the greatest... So, we're going to just leave it at that for now. I'm the 404Guy7HE404GUY. We've accomplished nothing this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Feel free to subscribe, follow, etc. It doesn't matter to me because I don't get paid for this. I won't be around the next couple of weeks. So, have yourselves a great day, and uh, we'll catch you all next time. I'm the 404Guy7HE404GUY. Goodbye.